Hi friends, happy Wednesday. It's so great to be here with you. If you and I have not met, welcome. Today we're going to be creating with digital downloads, the easy way, teaching you how to use the Ornate Peacock Collection. We're going to have fun coloring, utilizing some of the papers and elements. We're gonna do two different projects together and I cannot wait to show you how to create art from the heart very simply and beautifully. So let's have some fun together. If you and I have not met, welcome. Uh, go ahead and introduce yourselves. Let me know where you're watching from. Uh, let's take a look at what we will be creating with today. So this ornate window is one that I absolutely love. I can't wait to show you how we're going to be creating with it today. Um, but this one is an all seasons window and so many of you have fallen in love with it and you're gonna be able to create this in uh, big sizes, small sizes, like mini windows if you have the digital downloads. If you are new to all things digital, we launched that last week and we are so grateful that you're here and it's been fun to see what you've been creating and it's lovely to know that when you purchase a digital download, you can buy it today, you can create with it today if you have the machine and the uh, things to print already to go in your craft room. So here we go. This is what I call a digi stamp. So I just printed it out in the black outline. outline. Um, many of you have been asking if you can uh, you know, print these out, color them. The answer is absolutely, okay? So that's what we're doing today. Um, we are also going to be doing one with the paper elements, um, which is a really fun one. Um, we'll be doing that last. So we're gonna start out by coloring this ornate peacock. So if you don't have these images, we've added the links in the description so you can uh, get yours with a click of a button and start creating with them today. Uh, what you can do is you can just print them out if you do not have the machine to die cut them, you can scissor cut them out. However, if you have the digital machine, you can print them and have your machine cut this out. If you buy a stamp digi, it has a cut file that comes right with it to cut it out so you're not buying like a digi die separately um, with this image. So let's go ahead and get started. I am just using a combination of inks today and I use the archival manganese blue for like the dark images that you'll see. I'm going to go around the outer edges of this peacock with the forget-me-not um, and we're going to do some coloring. So for some of you, if you felt like you missed the boat, like you missed out and you're like, oh my gosh, I love the ability uh, to be able to create digitally. It doesn't take as much room in my craft room. Um, you, all you have to do is just buy the image, download it, print it off, and then you can also you know, have it scanned and cut out if you wanted to do that. And then you have this beautiful image that you can custom color however you want, which really still brings in that handmade effect and look, um, but it really saves you space, it saves you money, and um, if you are international, <laughs> the great thing is, is you can purchase today and you can play with it today, um, which is so fun for me to see that uh, so many of you have come uh, to us right here on uh, social media and been like, look at what I made, I just bought this today. It's like that excitement because it's you know we used to have to stock the meal carrier sometimes our shipments got lost and it's like where is it um, so here we are uh, just ready to continue to color this you can add as much or as little shading as you want in there I'm gonna go back to with my manganese blue and add some darker pots of color uh, into this peacock in a couple different areas um, and then we are going to go ahead and layer it to their card so Card making is made easy, right? Um, if you are not a colorist and you just wanna utilize the paper elements, knock yourself out, that's a great way uh, to just print, cut out, add your glitter, layer them together in beautiful ways. I've come out with some videos um, and I'll continue to show you different ways that you can use these. And I'm starting out with more basic concepts and then you can go back and you can make them as advanced as you, you like. So the window, um, I'm just gonna do a couple shaded areas on the outside here to show you how you can finish coloring this but I added some of the manganese blue on the outer edges and the areas that I wanted to have shaded a little bit darker and then I'm going back with the French ultramarine. Now for some of you you might be like oh my gosh I wanted to jump on the digital bandwagon but I'm intimidated. Um, I would highly recommend going back and look watching my first video where I did Q&A's on the machine if you need the Link to that video, let us know in the comments and we can link it to that there. I dive into what you can expect with, with, from us with machines um, and going through the learning curve of learning all things digital, but we try to keep it very simple. All we're doing is printing and cutting out. 
Uh, we're not doing anything super galactic in our uh, electric machines. Uh, we are literally just printing and cutting it out. Um, and then you get to create however you prefer um, with, with it in your craft room. Um, so I'm gonna continue to just add this color. I am using the Majestic Violet. Now you could also cut, uh, color these images with your favorite markers. Um, just make sure that the printer that you have, that you have it, that um, it can color with markers without bleeding. If you haven't tried that yet and you're not sure, just test it out. Um, if it doesn't work, <laughs> you'll know pretty quickly and all you've wasted is some of your paper and some of your ink, but that's the way we figure it out. And um, I will be at some point sharing some tips and techniques on how you can uh, you know, set your inks if you feel like you have a bleeding issue or something like that. But this one, um, if you're coloring with actual ink pads, uh, you rarely have an issue with bleeding unless you have some sort of uh, very interesting, <laughs> to me, printer. Uh, but usually with just inks, you should be totally fine. So here we've got our image all colored and we are ready to layer it to our card base. Um, so we are going to start out by adding this window. And I wanted to bring in just a little bit of a floral spray in the background. So it's kind of like a floral growing on the outside of the window as we're looking outside. Um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and add a little bit of glue to the backs of this flower. This was came from the Ornate Peacock uh, Paper and Elements pack. Um, any of the items that I'm using today we have linked. Um, so you can just get those with the click of a button and it will uh, be accessible to you. Some of you have been asking about how you access your downloads, your digital downloads. So when you purchase a digital download, all you need to do is log into your account, go to the download section and your digitals will be there to download to your computer um, or an external drive so that if something happens to your computer, you're not left high and dry and you can still have access to those. So what you can do next is you can grab some foam strips or some foam dots put these to the back of the window and you have a beautiful piece um, that you can layer up and have some dimension. So I absolutely love how quickly and easily this uh, window comes together and you can use it for all seasons. Like we've had design team members that used it for Christmas. We have had so many different uh, ways that we've used it throughout the entire year. So if you've missed out on it, I can't wait to uh, have you experienced the joy of creating with it, <laughs> utilizing uh, the digital image, and you can just have fun uh, doing different sizes. It was kind of funny. We had uh, downloaded different sizes of it, and I was looking at the pieces, and I'm like, why does this window, uh, what's going on? Because I had grabbed a different piece here. Um, so now for this one, this one I did grab from a smaller set that we had cut out so it's just a little bit smaller so I can bring this down. Um, and I see that I just wanna add a little bit more of a dark outline on this one uh, because it kind of, you can see it a little bit from the background. So I wanna do that a little bit more on the tops there. Okay, there we go. Now we can go ahead and layer this piece on top. Uh, this one cuts out multiple different ways so you have different options on how uh, you layer that together. Um, and just so you know, the basic essentials that I'm using today, uh, we are still shipping those. So if there's basic essentials that you run out of, like your foam dots, different things like that, um, we do still ship that. If you're an Insider member, you receive 20% off. If you are an Insider member, you get 40% off of all digital images, which is exciting. I'm gonna set this down just a little bit lower. There we go. Isn't that just stunning, just like that? I love that. And then we'll add this piece to the top. And then you can add all the glitter, all the uh, fun pizzazz to this that you like. So you can keep it as simple as you want or you can take it to the next level, add dimensional flowers. And I have some samples in front of me um, that will show various ways that you can do that. So here you can see how beautiful that is if you actually utilize two sizes uh, on top of each other as well. Before I add this, we're going to do a little bit of shaping to this one. So what we'll do is I'm using the largest tip within the basic shaping essentials and just going in a circular motion on my shaping mat. And we'll do that around the outer edges and all the way around. Um, so you get to 
uh, have a shaped peacock with a little bit of dimension. Um, so some of you have been asking what papers you should print off on. I am using an 80 pound cardstock. However, it will vary and depend on what printer and die cutting machine you have. Um, so what I recommend doing is if you have the machine and the printer already, um, just test out with the different uh, papers that you already have to see which one you prefer. Uh, but I found that I really like using the 80 pound for the Cricut Explorer 3 that I'm using and the Canon Pixma printer that I have. Okay, so there you've got that all um, <laughs> ready to add your glitter. I did add some glitter to the flowers, the window in the background, but I am going to show you um, a little bit of how I add glitter uh, to this one. Um, with this, you can go ahead, if I have my, yeah, here we go. So I'm using the, it says mustard, it's not mustard, it's crystal. Uh, the cap just got switched around, but you'll use the crystal glitter. And I use this technique um, on a lot of the background papers or the colored elements that we print out. Oops. And I just do like these fine lines of glue and I move very quickly. The faster you move, uh, the better your outline is going to be uh, when you add the glitter so that it doesn't kind of clump and glob on top of each other. Um, so if you overthink it, you stop, the glue kind of puddles a little bit. This is the dry clear glue with a really fine tip and that is what is essential to getting all those really fine lines. Um, so you can very quickly and easily get that glue and glitter on there with really an artist precision and really make that sparkle and glitter. Isn't that just so pretty? Ah, love, love that. So that is how you can really create that handmade look using the digital stamped images, color those, and utilizing those in many different ways, many different sizes. Here is that very same peacock, um, utilizing one of our decorative SVG files as well, that if you don't have the original one. And then this is also black images that you could color, right? Here's another one, just different ways of coloring those. This is a different peacock here, but you can do this with all of your digital images. So we're gonna switch gears a little bit and we're going to go into using the paper elements with the Ornate Peacock Collection. Um, so if you like the pre-colored option, which this is, you get the best of both worlds, right? And that's what I love about this is you can have the digital stamps, color them however you want, and then you can have the digital paper plus elements pack and really make those beautiful, quick and easy cards as well. Now, when you're looking at these at the website and you're new and you're kind of like, okay, what does all of this ling lingo mean? If you're looking at the digital papers plus elements, if you just buy the papers, you'll get the 12 by 12 papers, you just print those out and you utilize those how you normally would. If you get the papers plus the elements, this is what you'll get. You'll get those 12 by 12 papers, but then you'll also get an elements pack that is loaded with all these images that are pre-cut and we'll show you how um, your printer, or not your printer, your digital machine can then go along those edges and die cut those out very intricately. So it is made that you can just print them and then your machine can scan and cut those out, which is really, really beautiful. Just love all these options. Like this tag is huge. And um, that was typically just a very small uh, tag. So today we're gonna be using this piece along with this one. Um, and then we're going to, I'm just showing you some of these pieces. Um, there's another one. I love the intricacy that this cuts out with, right? Like so beautiful. Um, here's another one. Um, here's one with a vase. You could add some three-dimensional flowers on there. Love, love, love it. So many ways that you can utilize those. Oh, and here's the, you recognize this one? This was in the peacock. I love, love the color on that. So for this one, I used one of the insides of the Slimline dies. Again, we'll have the link so that you can quickly and easily uh, download these and purchase these and start creating with them today. Um, this one, you what you want to do is you can cut out with a digital background paper with the outline and then just layer your intricate die on top. I love, love how these intricate dies just cut out so beautifully. Before we lay this down, I'm going to put this piece down. Isn't that border amazing? So this again comes from the Ornate Peacock Paper and Elements set. So we're going to put this down. This is a five by seven um, card. So 
So you've got that on there. Like, just look at how pretty that is. I stamp a happy birthday here. You could add um, a digital image on there if you wanted to as well, however you prefer with that. So I'm gonna bring this over just a little bit further. and we'll, So we will cover some of that printed image. I just wanted a slight border on the side there. Isn't that so pretty? And then all we need to do is add our peacock and I'm going to add a little bit of dimension using our, uh, a, our stylus. So as you can see, card making is made uber, uber simple. Um, and just the main thing is getting you the idea of what you can create with it um, and where to place it. Um, so if you're in a creative funk, you download some of these images, print them out, have them cut out, and I find that when you have these images laying right in front of you like I do, um, you just start picking these images and you're like, oh my gosh, I can put this here, I can put this here, and you have cards in a flash. You're so inspired by um, the color that you can make them. See how pretty that was? This was literally just printing and die cutting. There are so many people in the digital space that make it feel so complex. And there are a lot of complex things you can do with digital cutters. But in my Cricut Explorer 3, and with my Canon Pixma that we have here and that we're using as a team, all we're doing is printing and cutting. And the program literally just says, okay, do this and do this, okay? So there's obviously always a learning curve, but if you learn those simple basics, you're set. So if you have a machine, go back to the manufacturer where you got it from, learn the simple ropes of how to print and how to cut, and you are set. And I can't wait for you to experience the joy of creating with these. If you don't have these images yet, we've added the links for quick and easy ordering. You just order those, they'll come to you as a digital download and you can start creating today. If you are an Insider member, you receive a 40% discount on all of those digital downloads. You will also get a 20% discount on the Crafting Basics, plus free shipping on those. If you're in the US or if you're international, you get a 20% shipping discount and you have access to all the online classes. There's over 50, they're two hours in length and those are valued at $30. Um, so being an Insider member is a no-brainer for $12.99 a month or you can subscribe for a whole year and you get three months completely free. Before I go, I wanted to show some more samples that are in front of me that design team members created with the physical stamps, dies, and papers. And you can also recreate this with your digital download. So let's take a look. Um, so here's another one with the peacock that we just did in a slimline version. Um, and you see this gold uh, Lux card set, we still carry this. And we've been testing it out with our machine. And it's been cutting it beautifully, um, which we really, really have loved that we can still cut those. So again, print those images out and have fun layering them on your cards with many different color schemes, many different layouts. Um, one of you, I was, it was so exciting to see, when, as soon as we launched, one of you had bought this specific decorative die, it cut it out and you're like, oh my gosh, I can't believe the intricacy that this die created um, and how beautifully it cut out with her machine. And I loved how uh, some of you have been n completely new to digital cutting. You're like, I just followed the prompts on my machine and I literally just printed it and cut it out. So that's been super, super fun to uh, see. So kudos to you if you've been creating with a digital download. When you download an image today, you create with it today. We'd love to see right here on social media what you've been doing um, so we can cheer you along. It's so, so fun. Um, this one is a super, super, I love this slimline die. When we had launched the physical ones, they sold out so quickly. Um, so they're back in all their glory in the digital download version. And I can't wait for you to create with those. Um, and see those beautiful, beautiful images. So hopefully that inspires you. Um, you can let us know below if you have any questions. Um, or if you miss the Q&As on the basics of digital printing, uh, let us know in the comments and we'll give you a link to the very first video that I launched uh, surrounding this. Thank you so much for being here. We'll see you next time. Bye.